at Saks Fifth Avenue for the event with Khalid Sharaan for Baikal. Hi Khalid, how are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Uh, Khalid, tell me more about the event today. This is your first time that you collaborated with Saks Fifth Avenue. How did that come in and what are you showing today? Actually, it was an initiative that started with Saks. They were looking for uh, uh, artists and designer based in Dubai. And the idea was showcasing some uh, uh, pieces or art pieces that would reflect a little bit of both uh, Dubai and the East with the New York uh, uh, feel or concept. So this is what happened and that's how we started working, creating some furniture items that have uh, a very Eastern Arabic touch with an attitude that comes from New York. Can you also tell me how did Saks come and pick these pieces up for you? What attracted Saks Fifth Avenue to buy Khan? I believe it was uh, the fact that they thought it was probably unique. However, these pieces were designed specially for Saks, so uh, most of the items here were made only for this uh, event, putting the concept together. Um, I believe they appreciated my work, and that's how the collaboration started. Usually you work with colors, but this time it was, you topped the charts with colors, even the way you paint the chairs yourself with the fabric and the prints. Tell me more about it. Um, I'm very comfortable working with colors. I believe that it's all about being like a piece that demands attention, a piece that that's starts a conversation. Color is beautiful and uh, it's fun. The concept of New York, New York is very colorful, New York is very dark, New York is bright. Everything, it's about the multiculturalism of the city with attitudes more, more in the, in, than the sense of colors. And I think that's where like the vibrant uh, 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 move started and I thought let's do colorful stuff. <laughs> What's next for Khan? Um, I'm working currently on uh, designing Blue, Blue Marilyn. They're moving to the UAE uh, in collaboration with D-Mind uh, uh, in Dubai. We're working on a beautiful design for a great beach club and some restaurants using bespoke furniture and bespoke concepts and uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's really exciting. Congratulations and uh, we always love to see your work and what better way to showcase it in Saks. And I think it's a very nice event today. Thank you so much, Khaled. Thank you very much. Thank you. Standing beside the lovely Asma, the marketing executive of Saks. How are you doing, Asma? Good, good. Thank you. I have to tell you, it's a lovely event tonight. Can you tell me a little bit about the thought behind this event? So basically, what we wanted to do is, as you know, art, fashion, it all falls under one umbrella. So we thought of one way of to incorporate art and fashion by collaborating with Khaled and Khaled. Uh, and tapping into our heritage, New York heritage, since we are the, the, the first luxury department store in the UAE. Not only that, but we want to give back to the community. And the way of giving back to the community is by supporting local talent. And as well as all the arts that they've produced, a percentage of all sales will go to the Nur Dubai Foundation that supports blindness. Asma, uh, can you tell me why you chose these two specific artists? Uh, the reason we chose Khawla and Khaled for, for uh, this project is because Khawla's art is very pop art. It's loud, vibrant colors, and uh, Khaled's furniture complements Khawla's uh, canvases. They're loud, uh, very colorful, and his material is very rich. And also, Khawla's technique is also very rich. It's, it's a very busy canvas. So I think that they are a match made in heaven in this project. Fantastic. It was lovely speaking to you. And also, as you know, please do visit Saks and uh, check out these two amazing and talented artists. Not only are their artwork very beautiful, and also it's going to an amazing cause. Thank you very much.